Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is like 6.30 in the morning right now and I'm getting up to start my workout. I am gonna film what I eat in a week this week. Um, the next few weeks we're traveling, we leave on Sunday, so I thought this would be a good time because I'm home. I meant to start this on Monday, but Felsey's actually been pretty sick with like really high fevers, so I've just been like focused on that, not on filming a YouTube or anything. So it is Wednesday morning, but I still want to finish off the week strong by showing you guys what I eat. The reason I'm starting this now is because I have to eat every morning. I don't know if you're the type of person that needs to eat every morning. That's me. So I'll just have a piece of toast and my pre-workout, and then after my workout, I don't know what I'm feeling, but maybe a waffle or maybe something else. Once I wake up, I'll have a better answer for you guys. finished my workout. I feel really good, but I'm so lightheaded right now. When I say I have to eat so much in the morning, it's not by choice. Like I get shaky and just like lightheaded if I don't eat. So I'm gonna go make something very heavy. I'm gonna make protein waffles. So I'll show you guys how I make those. Good job, Bells. I'm so proud of you. She's learning how to feed herself. <laughs> So I'm feeling pretty hungry. Um, I'm gonna cook these leftovers that I had yesterday for dinner that's just like creamy marinara sauce and shredded chicken and then pasta and then broccoli on the side. So I'll have that first and then randomly we're last minute heading to lunch with our friends. I'm not positive where we're going yet, but I will show you whatever we end up eating. I'm gonna eat this and then probably take a go macro bar with me on the way or a Greek yogurt just to like get as much protein as I can in. So I'll show you what I'm eating. Looks good. been gone like all day running errands so we're finally going home we stopped at the grocery store to get some fillets we got peaches last night we're gonna make filet and vegetables tonight so i am very excited anyways we didn't vlog lunch we had like a later lunch with some of our friends and we just had some pizza so sorry for not vlogging that
Okay, to finish off this day of eating, I never shared the water that I drink, but I probably had like three-fourths a gallon of water today, and then I'm gonna have a protein shake for like my little dessert. Dinner was super bomb, and I overcooked the steak, but that's okay. Tomorrow, I am gonna aim to eat a lot more fruit, because I didn't really have very much fruit today, because I was just kind of everywhere, and with Velzi being sick, I just like don't have the energy to like prioritize things that are good for me right now. So there's um my Wednesday of eating. Good morning. It's Thursday. Velzi is still sick, so I'm very sad, but this morning I'm having two Eggo waffles to start my day because I don't have the energy to make my own breakfast, but Tommy's babysitter is here, her name's Oakley, and she is making me some watermelon. So, watermelon and Eggo waffles. What up, guys? I'm about to do my first run since doing my marathon last Saturday. My legs have been absolutely smoked the last five days. So we're gonna do this run, I'm just gonna do one mile really slow. Just try to get loose and back into the flow because I have another marathon in three weeks, which is kind of scary. But I'm gonna do this run and then me and Ken are gonna work out together. And I'll show you that. Every step hurts so far. All right, I wanna talk really quick about the good and the bad from the last marathon I did on Saturday. That was my second marathon I've ever done. And going into it, I didn't really have a lot of expectations. I knew I wanted to finish under four hours. And my last PR for my, my first marathon was four hours, 35 minutes. And I, I felt I was happy with that. I finished the race. Never been a distance runner, so I thought that was good. But this one, I was more excited for it. I had been running a lot more. I've just made running more of like my everyday thing. I lift and I run most days. Not a ton of miles, but I'll do anywhere from two to six miles pretty consistently. My longest run before this last marathon was 15 miles. I had done 13 miles a whole bunch of times. 15 was my longest. And so going into this marathon, I knew I wanted to get sub four hours. I started out this race, it was a big canyon race. Started at the top of the canyon, 18 miles down this really steep canyon, and then finish out with eight miles, sort of uphill to the finish line. It was the race started really good. I did, I did 18 miles at a 740 pace. I felt really good. I didn't feel like I was pushing very hard. I didn't feel like I was over exerting. I didn't feel like, I felt like that pace was sustainable. That's what most of my training runs had been, was right on an eight pace, right on a 740 pace. So I felt really good about it. I was stoked. I came out of the canyon. I met up with my friend Tanner Beast and he joined me for the last nine miles. And we were stoked. We we're like, we're gonna hold eight minutes coming in. I felt really comfortable with it. I got to mile 22 and then I just felt my, my left quad just start to get a little tight and in my mind I knew, I knew what was coming but we pushed through that till about mile 23. I took a step and my entire left quad just came into a ball and I just totally locked up. I was honestly pretty mad because I felt like I hadn't overexerted, I hadn't over pushed but that just in one step over the course, the whole race just pushed me to that one step and all locked up. I went to the medical tent they rubbed it out and it loosened up sort of. I ran for about half a mile and it completely locked up again. And so I had two and a half miles left and I didn't know how I was gonna get to the finish line. Kenna was calling and she's like, what's going on? Because I, I was on pace for a 328 marathon, which was unreal, like I did not expect that. But it felt realistic during the run. Anyways, ended up power walking the finish line. Finished in a 352 marathon, which I'm still really happy about. This is beat my goal, which is four hours. But overall, stoked at the marathon. It beat me up more than I expected. That mile run was just brutal. Everything hurts right now, but it feels good to be moving again. Anyways, now me and Ken are gonna work out. Get it, mama. Good job, those are 50s. They just look smaller on camera. Yeah, they're 50s. Water, 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 water is all I'm craving right now. All I've had today is pre-workout, those two Eggo waffles, <laughs> which I'm not proud of, but that's just what happens sometimes. And a ton of water. I think I'm gonna have a protein yogurt, macro bar, take Tommy to school, probably get some lunch on the way back, and then I'm gonna cook some bootables tonight, so I'm excited about those. But I do need to pick up another ingredient, so I'm not gonna make them now. <sighs> Sorry, I cannot breathe. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so we landed here at In N Out and I wanted to tell you guys my In N Out order. Nothing too special, but it's a triple patty, well done, protein style, no cheese, grilled onions, and then sometimes I add banana peppers, sometimes I don't, but that is my order. And then I steal some of Jack's fries. Jack, what is, Lame -o. Your, what is your order? Today I got a cheeseburger with two extra patties and I got banana peppers, fries, and a Coke. Peaches are insane. I'm in a baking mood. We're gonna make some bread. It's gonna be like a rapid rise bread, which is only like a two hour rise. And then we'll make um, bruschetta tonight from the garden. So I'm trying to make this whole meal from my house or my garden. You ready, Bills? She's also feeling better, so I'm so happy. Her fever, finally, for the first time, is under 100 degrees in three days. So thankful and so happy. Oh, baby, that's a good angle. You ready? I just woke up from a huge nap. Wow. Anyways, I am going to finish the bread and then make some dinner, so I will show you guys. The bread has risen, so I'm gonna knead it right now. All right, we just got home from my little brother's football game. It was so much fun. I had a few treats there. I didn't bring my vlog camera, so I can't show you, but tomorrow I'm going to focus on hitting my protein because I definitely didn't hit it today. I'm supposed to be drinking a protein shake right now, but it's late and I don't feel like drinking a protein Mommy, shake. Mommy. What? I try to intuitively eat as much as I can. I don't force myself to eat if I'm not hungry. And if it's just really late, it's not worth hitting my protein to like feel bloated all night. And I'm so excited to, do, to go to bed right now. Tomorrow I'm going to focus on hitting my protein and also just eating more fruits and vegetables, hopefully like a big smoothie. So I'll show you guys what I eat tomorrow. Breakfasts are very hard for me because I used to be able to eat eggs and now I can't eat them anymore. I think I'm allergic. So I just have to get creative with how to get protein in the morning. I usually do yogurt or like if you guys have seen this week, sometimes I like just do Mom, toast because I can't pizza. eat that much protein in the morning if it's not like a real source like eggs or something. But yogurt doesn't hurt my stomach so this morning I'm doing a yogurt parfait. We're giving Belle the eggs for the first time this morning. 
Hopefully she's not allergic as well because sometimes when you're nursing your baby, like your body will allow you to eat something that your baby doesn't like, if that makes sense. So, so far so good. Today we are gonna be on the go a little bit. We have a photo shoot for Tommy and Valzi. They're just getting some cute sister pictures done. And then we are gonna go run some errands, but we'll show you all the things that we eat today. So I just forced Oakley to drink AG1. She was nervous because she, she's tried other greens before and then she tried these greens and she's like, oh, these are actually really good. And I'm like, I suck. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna drink this protein shake right now and I forgot to vlog lunch. I had a piece of fried chicken and an arugula salad. Didn't have my vlog camera, so I'm gonna drink this and then we're probably gonna get a sandwich or something tonight because we're gonna go to another football game. So we'll just kind of be on the go. We'll probably have a yogurt. We'll see. I'm not very hungry, but I'm trying to eat. Okay, we're on our way to a football game right now, and we stopped at Jersey Mike's, and it was not the call. It took so long. My order is a number seven mini on rosemary parm, extra meat, and avocado spread. If you care, we're gonna end the vlog here, I think, because Belzy's sad, and we need to edit this before Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and we'll see you next week. Bye.